Jacksonville City Council President Tommy Hazori says he will not be threatened by the mayor's office. This comes after Hazori sent out a statement saying the Lot J Entertainment Complex won't be voted on until early next year. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller spoke with Hazori, who says he created a pathway for the council to discuss the proposal on January 7th. Council President Tommy Hazuri says there are many questions that have yet to be answered and many questions that have yet been asked over the proposed entertainment complex at Lot J. Do you feel rushed throughout this process? They're asking too much in such a short time for us to make the kind of decision that's going to impact over $200 million economic development uh, project. Hazuri says it's unreasonable. The mayor, first he says, take your time. A week later, he says, let's get off the pot and vote it out or you're going to lose the Jaguars. I won't be threatened and he shouldn't try to intimidate this council. That's not the way government works. The city's chief of staff and the Jaguars chief legal officer sat down on this week in Jacksonville. They say this project is an opportunity for the River City. And so it's not just about sustaining the Jaguars, but it's about making what exists here viable for additional uses and bigger events. We've been at that endeavor for several months. Almost 16 months ago, we started interacting with city council members then and as we filed legislation, we continue phone calls, uh, over 25 hours of meetings with the council auditors about this topic. That's not true, according to Hazuri. We only received the introductory bill uh, less than two months ago. And uh, they have a project that's going to take seven to nine years to be completed. I ask, and I ask in a very honest and open way, what's wrong with another few weeks? Uh, to get our questions asked and answered. Hazuri says that this proposal is asking taxpayers to fund more than a quarter of a billion dollars to turn this empty parking lot outside of the stadium here at Lot J into this, an entertainment sports complex. Hazuri says that a special meeting will be held on January 7th to discuss the project and a vote will follow on the 12th. This near debacle over Lot J reminds Hazuri of what he says happened a year ago with JEA and and lack of transparency. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station. Chief of Staff Jordan Ellsbury shared this statement with News for Jacks. Quote, the reason documents have changed is because there have been dozens of edits responsive to the request of city council members and their staff. With these changes incorporated, it is unclear why delaying policy decisions in downtown development if members are ready to vote.